Hey folks, if you'd like to support me or this channel, Moose University, in creating more video tutorials, then please consider making a financial contribution at my website, MoofUniversity.com. Thanks and enjoy the video. So this video is sort of a continuation of the previous video on sphingolipids. So we talked about the different classes and I kind of want to show examples in this video. So the first one we'll talk about is a sphingomyelin. So we said sphingomyelins are basically phospho-sphingolipids that specifically have phospho choline or phosphoethanolamine as their polar head group. So here, this sphingomyelin has the sphingosine backbone in purple, has some fatty acyl group here in brown, and then the polar head group is a phospho alcohol. So which alcohol is this? This alcohol is from ethanolamine. So now this thing this question here says which alcohol is this polar head group coming from? That now that's different from asking what is the polar head group? The polar head group entirely is phosphoethanolamine, right? But it's just asking which alcohol is this polar head group coming from? And that's just this portion. So that would be ethanolamine. But that's how a, that's an example of a sphingomyelin. Next up, a cerebroside. Okay, so cerebrosides were a subclass of glycosphingolipids, right? These are the neutral um, glycolipids. And cerebrosides specifically only have one sugar attached to them as the polar head group. So again, sphingosine backbone in purple. In the brown, we have the fatty acyl group. And in blue here, we have a sugar attached as the polar head group. Which sugar is this? Well, this sugar is glucose, right? And what types of tissue membranes would you expect this to be present in? We mentioned in the previous video that uh, if, the, if the polar head group is a glucose, we would expect that to be in non-neural plasma membranes, right? We wouldn't expect that to be in neural plasma membranes. If this was, if had this been galactose, we would have put neural plasma membranes. But again, cerebrosides have only one sugar, and this here is just that one sugar, glucose. Okay, globosides. So globosides, we said, could have uh, two or more sugars attached to their, as their polar head group, and they're also neutral. So, right, so these guys have um, an overall charge of zero, um, just like cerebrosides, right, because these are glycosphingolipids. So here the polar head group is just these two sugars attached together. Um, and if you looked at this, and I just asked you which disaccharide would that be if it was separated from these, this, uh, this sphingolipid, this would be lactose. This disaccharide would be lactose because this here is galactose, and this is glucose, and this here is a beta-1,4 linkage because this is carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six on this one. And this here is one, two, three, four, five, six on this one. And here this is specifically this is the anomeric carbon and because it's going up, this is beta. Okay. One more thing I want to actually go back real quick. Remember globosides and cerebrosides are neutral, so there's no charge anywhere on this. And with the cerebroside, also no charge anywhere. The sphingomyelin, right, it does have charges, right? It has a negative charge here and a positive charge here. So overall, it has a neutral charge. But if this, if this alcohol portion um, was a different alcohol, then we might, we might have a case in which um, we, wouldn't ha we would have an overall charge. Okay. And the last example... Uh, for gangliosides, it's not an actual example of, ganglio of, an, of a ganglioside, but this is what uh, a sialic acid looks like. So, if we see, and specifically in the chair form, so here I've drawn N acetylneuraminic acid and I've done my best to color code this. Right, so, this is a sialic acid here. So, the N acetyl in the name comes from this portion over here on the bottom left, right, color coded in light pink and blue. So that's the N-acetyl portion, and the acidic portion is, of course, this carboxylate group up here, right? It's in a deprotonated form, and it's carrying a negative charge. 
right? So this is why they are. So if you see, basically, if you see something, if you see a cerebroside, right? That's just something that has at least two sugars attached as the polar head group. And then if you see two or more, right? If you see two or more sugars, and you see something like this, if you see a carboxylic acid portion attached to a chair that looks like this, then you have uh, a sialic acid attached to the oligosaccharide polar head group. And in that case, you would have a gangliocide. So I encourage you to maybe draw some of these on your own practice and kind of be able to recognize them. And I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Yo, if you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And if you know anybody who might find the videos helpful, then please share it with them. Thanks. Happy studying.